The fascination with the discovery of potentially habitable exoplanets has captivated scientists and the public alike for decades. One of the most intriguing candidates in this ongoing quest is Proxima b, an exoplanet orbiting the star Proxima Centauri, the closest star to our solar system at approximately 4.2 light-years away. Discovered in 2016, Proxima b has quickly become a subject of intense speculation, with many wondering if it could be an Earth-like planet capable of supporting life. The potential for alien life, the possibility of finding a second home for humanity, and the ever-growing array of astronomical discoveries fuel our collective imagination and drive space exploration. The search for an alternative habitable planet has long been a priority for scientists, astronomers, and science enthusiasts. With growing concerns about climate change, overpopulation and dwindling resources on Earth, the chances of finding another life-supporting planet are not so great. Meaningful In this context, Proxima b is not just an astronomical curiosity, but a human lifeboat. But despite the excitement and signs of Proxima b's direction, there is still much work to be done to determine whether this distant planet can support life. One of the most exciting aspects of the discovery of Proxima b is the signals it has seen from the region around Proxima Centauri. These signals, sometimes referred to as radio frequency decay or simply alien signals, have caused many to speculate about their origins. Is it a sign of intelligent life? Or are our own interactions just echoes of the natural world? The mystery surrounding these symptoms has attracted the attention of the scientific community and the general public. Scientists are cautious in interpreting these signals because most of them are reflections of the Earth's own transits or come from cosmic processes such as pulsars and the black hole. However, the idea that these signals may come from an extraterrestrial intelligence source is a compelling story that has inspired much discussion and debate. Although there is no definitive proof that these signals come from Proxima b, they add to the intrigue surrounding this distant planet. Despite the excitement, researchers should be cautious about these findings. All symptoms found from the site are submitted to a series of tests and analyzes to determine its origin. If the signal does not come from a known source such as a satellite or star, it will be investigated again. Some points that seem good at first may disappear on closer inspection and turn out to be the result of technical noise or our inaccurate data. Until we can determine the source of these signals, Proxima b will remain a mystery. The launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, JWST, has given scientists a powerful new tool. For observing distant bodies, including Proxima b. One of the key features of JWST is its ability to detect and observe infrared. Light, which is essential for studying exoplanets that are too weak to observe visible light. The telescope's advanced technology allows it to capture detailed and remarkable images of distant planets, providing scientists with valuable data on their atmospheres, surface conditions, and possible habitats. One of the most exciting claims in recent years is that JWST has detected artificial light in Proxima b. Although this is still debatable, the possibility that we can see signs of aliens using technology is an exciting prospect. That detection depends on the telescope's ability to detect light emission patterns that indicate artificial lights. Although this is still a fantasy, JWST is expected to play an important role in determining whether planets like Proxima b can support life. In addition to Proxima b, JWST has the potential to revolutionize our understanding of exoplanets. Its ability to observe distant planets in infrared light allows scientists to detect heat signatures, study atmospheric compositions, and even detect biological signatures such as water vapor, methane, and oxygen. These observations could provide the first evidence of life on other planets and push the boundaries of our understanding of the universe and our place in it. Proxima Centauri, the star that orbits Proxima b, is a red dwarf star classified as an M-type star in the Milky Way. Proxima Centauri is a faint star, only 12% the mass of the Sun and much less luminous. Despite its obscurity, it holds a special place in our astronomical understanding because of its proximity to Earth. As the closest star to the Sun, Proxima Centauri offers a unique opportunity to study planetary systems beyond our own. 
Proxima b orbits its host star at a distance of about 0.05 astronomical units, AU, which is closer to the distance of Earth from the Sun, one Australian dollar. Despite this proximity, the low temperature of Proxima Centauri means that Proxima b resides in the star's habitable zone, where temperatures allow water to exist. This has led to the idea that Proxima b is an Earth-like planet, although many other factors must be considered before such a claim can be validated. One of the challenges scientists face when studying Proxima b is the intense radiation the planet receives from the star. Red dwarfs such as Proxima Centauri are known for their flares that can blast nearby planets with ultraviolet rays and X-rays. This radiation can destroy the planet's atmosphere without sat down. However, the possibility of a magnetic field or other protective devices on Proxima b has not been ruled out, raising the question of whether life could survive on the planet, the question of whether Proxima b can support life is one of the most pressing questions in the universe today. Even if a planet is in its star's habitable zone, that alone doesn't mean it can support life. There are many factors to consider, including the planet's atmosphere, magnetic field, and surface conditions. Currently, there is no direct evidence of an atmosphere on Proxima b, and its proximity to Proxima Centauri raises concerns about the planet's ability to retain an atmosphere. Without a shielding gas, Proxima b would be exposed to the full intensity of Proxima Centauri's radiation. Water or other valuable resources may disappear from the surface of the planet. Although Proxima b once had a gas, it may have been eroded over time by strong stellar winds and radiation from its parent star. However, some scientists say that if Proxima b has energy, it could protect the planet from these harmful effects, just like the Earth's magnetic field protects us from radiation. The day another reason to think that Proxima b has liquid water. Water is essential for life as we know it, and living on Proxima b would greatly increase the chances of the planet being habitable. Although there is no direct evidence of water on Proxima b, its location in the habitable zone means that liquid water could exist under the right conditions. Future observations by JWST and other telescopes will provide more information on this important question. Studying distant exoplanets such as Proxima b is a challenge, mainly because of their great distance. At 4.2 light-years away, Proxima b is close enough in astronomical terms, but far beyond current space travel technology. It takes more than four years for the Moon to be visible from Proxima b to reach us, which means that the information we collect will be years old by the time it arrives. This delay complicates the process of studying the universe in real time, making it difficult to determine the current state of Proxima b. One of the most important ways to study exoplanets is to observe their transits from their host stars. When a planet passes in front of its star, it reduces the brightness of the star, which can be seen by astronomers. By analyzing these transitions, scientists can gather information about a planet's size, atmosphere, and even the composition of its atmosphere. However, this method does not always work for planets like Proxima b, which may not transit their star in a path visible from Earth. Another challenge is the difficulty of imaging exoplanets accurately. Most exoplanets are too distant and faint to be seen directly even with the most powerful telescopes. Instead, scientists rely on indirect methods such as transit observations and radial velocity measurements to determine the existence and properties of these planets. The development of new technologies, such as coronagraphs and stargazing, will allow accurate imaging of exoplanets in the future, but for now our understanding of distant planets such as Proxima b is limited. The search for extraterrestrial life has been a central goal of astronomy and space exploration for decades. Proxima b, with its potential to support life, represents one of the main targets in this search. If Proxima b is alive, it could answer some of the most profound questions humans have ever asked, are we alone in the universe? How much life is in the world? And what is wrong with that life? Although no direct evidence of life has been found on Proxima b or any other planet, scientists are still looking for biosignatures, vital chemical signals found in the atmosphere of the planet or the surface. On Earth, life produces various biological signatures such as oxygen, methane, and carbon dioxide that can be seen from afar. 
If similar biological signatures are found on Proxima b, it would strongly suggest that life existed or existed at the same time on this planet. The search for biosignatures on Proxima b and other exoplanets continues, with telescopes such as JWST and future missions such as the Observatory for Exoplanet Biomass, HABEX, playing an important role. These instruments are designed to detect faint signals from distant planets, allowing scientists to comb their atmospheres for signs of life. Although the discovery of a biosignature does not mean that intelligent life exists on Proxima b, it is an important step forward in our understanding of life beyond Earth.